Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to cover the basic features that IntelliJ provides us. So if you are moving from STS or Eclipse to IntelliJ, you might find it difficult at first. So I will guide you through the basic features that IntelliJ provides so that it becomes easier for you to go on. So first we will start with the, uh, the top tab, which is, which is having so many options. Okay. So in this file, we are having an option new using which we can create a project. So if we go to new project, then we have options to create a Maven project or spring initializer or Android project that we can do from here. That's fine. And then okay, what else should I close. Then in the new itself, we are having options to create modules, Java class, Kotlin class or other files we can do from here. And then if you want to open some project, then you can click on open uh, project. So here we will go to the project where we have stored our project in the file system and we will select that and we will click OK. So it will open that from here. Then open recent. It will show what all recent projects we have opened. Close project settings. So we will let's explore settings first. OK. In the settings, we are having appearance and behavior. So here it, it is giving us options to support screen readers, contrast scroll bars and all those things it is providing us. So that thing we can do menu and toolbars, file colors and all those things we can configure. So there is one more important thing key key map. So if you have moved from STS to IntelliJ, you might find it difficult. Like the key maps are different. The shortcuts we used to have in IntelliJ uh, in STS are different to those that are there in IntelliJ. So those we can change from here. So we can have the same key map as we have in Eclipse using uh, selecting that Eclipse from here. We can do that and click on apply. So that's fine. In the editor, we are having settings for the editor. We can go to general settings and here we are having several options like scrolling, smooth scrolling, what what things we, we can configure those many things over here. Code editing. We can set the error highlighting what is the minimum height for error stripe and all those things we can uh, set over here okay all these things are there then there is a plugin so if you want to add some new plugin you can come over here in the settings and go to plugins and here you can type for example scala plugin is there aws toolkit uh, plugin is there and version control is uh, git related things that will show over here so auto detect or what else what things need to be done and build execution and deployment build tool it will show settings for the build tools over here okay these are the things which are there in this settings tab and then we are having file properties local history save all so IntelliJ supports automatic save so in if you are coming from STS you will have to save every file after doing the changes but in IntelliJ there is a auto save feature by default so it will save all the files once we have uh, once we have uh, done the changes. Okay, so that feature is there. And after that, there's a repair ID. So if you are facing some issues use, uh, when using the ID, it is getting crashed or something. You can go for repair IDs and invalidate caches is there. So let's say you are working on a project for a month and some caches got downloaded and your project is uh, your IntelliJ is working slow and you are facing some uh, weird issues like Gradle build not happening or Maven build not happening. So in that case, you can come in there here, invalidate caches, and you can clear all these things. Okay, and click on invalidate and restart. So it will clear the caches, and uh, then IntelliJ should run, run fine. Okay, so that's it. In this particular edit, we are having few options to copy path references and all those. In view, we are having tool windows, commit, project, bookmarks. These all windows we can open. Okay, let's open the build window. So those all those all things we can do from here and up in the appearance window we are having options to enter presentation mode enter full screen mode so if we click on enter full screen mode this will this IntelliJ will cover the whole screen okay so like that we can do and those all our options are there then navigate code inspect code analyze code or options all it is also having refactor build if you want to build our project we will come here and click on build project run is there if you want to run debug profile all those things we can do from this particular tab tools is there which is showing us few features to open task and context code with me so using code with me uh, it is a feature in IntelliJ 
where a whole team can code together so we will be able to see who is coding what real time so that is also provided in IntelliJ I think it is a paid feature but yeah it is also provided then VCS version control system we can set VCS system over here apply patch and do all those things and in the help we are having some diagnostic tools and then memory settings we can change so by default it is having 2018 MB if you want to increase the memory usage for IntelliJ we can increase it here and click on save and restart so that will that is also important feature and that's it that's it guys for the top tab then in this particular tab project it is showing project and our project this is a project explorer and this is the application we created and this is the files for that application okay and in the right hand side we are having some features so this is code with me feature which we discussed this is a build feature that build project and then here we are having so in this particular tab we can select files and all those things okay we have settings tab run everything key map key map we can we can also select from here like eclipse we selected and in notifications all the notifications that is happening will be shown here that jdk coreto 11 is set to java version 11 and all those things it, it will show over here and in the maven it will show us profiles like build settings it, it will show us that refresh reload all maven projects or this download sources and documentation build this project those things we can do from here first step and under life cycle we can do clean validate compile test and all those things we can do from here and coming to the bottom in the bottom we are having structure so this is showing us the structure of our project libraries and module dependencies it is showing and after that we are having bookmarks so in IntelliJ we can create bookmarks bookmarks in a java file and those bookmarks will be shown over here and down here we are having version control so once we are connected to git it will show us the commits and all those things it will be tracking in this particular tab and we are having problem step so if there is compilation issue or anything in our project it will show here and in terminal we can directly connect to terminal from IntelliJ like a powershell or git bash those things we can connect from here itself like if we click on plus it will create another uh, powershell window and from here we can click on git bash so it will open a git bash window for us okay so that thing is there services so once we run our project it will show here and in build it will show us the build thing so we tried to build our project but it failed because of some issue so these errors will be shown over here and that's it and so one more thing in the bottom tab if we right click here it will show us some options power save mode memory indicator so if we, it is enabled right now memory indicator so this particular tab shows us memory like out of 2018 MB 369 MB is getting used and let's say if this memory consumption increases and I want to clear my memory so I will come here and will do double click on this particular tab so it will clear up the memory this is how it works okay guys that's it for today's session we have covered almost all the features that IntelliJ provides go ahead and try it out till then see you in the next video